where we are now at Damascus Gate, Jerusalem. One of the eight gates that around the walls of the city, most of the wall is from 16th century. And we are heading now to the left of it to an ancient cave. We call it, it's called Tzadakaya Cave. But let's let's talk about it when we be there. Then don't go away. That's the entrance to the cave. Then is it a cave? Because the Hebrew name, the two words here, it's a Tzadakaya Cave from the Bible. But in English it's King Solomon's Quarries, which I prefer it better. Then let's go in. The cave is not a natural cave, it actually was a quarry and it's a beautiful place to visit. There are so many stories, but uh, that video must be less than four minutes, because if not, it will be too boring. Then, then let's go in. Above us, 10 meters above us, is the Muslim quarter and it can reach the part of the Via Dolorosa, um, a quarry. Some people believe that it was built at the time of King Solomon uh, for the Jewish temple and the Book of Kings actually mentioned that he used beautiful stones. And if I'm talking about that stones, the name of uh, that limestone is Maleke. Meleke, if you know Hebrew, you know that, uh, and uh, I'm sure that in Arabic, you know that it's about the king, royal, royalty. Then the most important buildings were built by that. And the Meleke stone is not only a regular stone, first of all, it's a beautiful white stone, and then uh, and in the sun, it will, uh, later on, will be stronger, and it looks like marble that we don't have here in Israel. Then in that case, the Freemasons, when they heard that it was um, used by King Solomon, they decided that King Solomon is their patron. Then uh, a lot of the Freemasons' meeting were in that cave. Suddenly, I'm almost the only one. It's only two visitors here, mainly because it's an, uh, very close to East Jerusalem and uh, Damascus Gate, far away from all the uh, main uh, attraction. But I'm almost sure that King Solomon used it for uh, to build the Jewish temple. And again, royal. And it's not. It's not like it. We see if you. Um, it looks like it goes to the right and goes to the right and to the left. It's not. Uh, that's how they uh, use it as a quarry to protect themselves. Because if not, the floor might fall on them. And first of all, it's so close to the whole city. Secondly, it's hidden from the rain and from the sun. Then it's a beautiful and amazing uh, place for quarry like that. And, Beautiful, isn't it? How they found it? Oh, that's a very good question. At the 19th century, Berkeley, an American guy, was walking here with his dog and his son, and suddenly the dog disappeared. Uh, that area was kind of a, a garbage area, then, and it was after the rain, then it was muddy and stinky, as I believe, and when they uh, went to find a dog, they found the entrance to the cave, they saved the cave, but the day later they dressed themselves as local Arabs, they waited for the darkness, and they enter for that cave and discover what you actually now can see. Beautiful, isn't it? Then, uh, we, we, we believe that the stopped using it at the time of Solomon the Magnificent that built the walls of uh, Jerusalem. But we're not so sure. It's a beautiful place to visit, excellent place for videos and pictures. I mean, look at that. And it's not the end of it. The Bible, the Book of Kings, actually tells us that the last king of Israel, Zedekiah, ran away. Uh, to Jericho, and that's where he was found by the enemies, then he used tunnels and caves. Is that a cave? We are not so sure, but it might be. That's why you call, uh, the Israelis call it 
Tzadakaya cave. Look how beautiful it is. And that's the free uh, mansion hall. That's where they're doing their meeting. So quiet here, isn't it? Do you think that that's the end of the cave? No, it's not. Are you ready to see more of it? It's more than five minutes, it's worth it. We were at the other side and now we're in the other side of the cave and look how beautiful it is. And you want to continue with me, I know that. God, Jerusalem is above us. The most important the Via Dolorosa Station 1, 2, and 3 is here too. Mm. Mm. Beautiful, isn't it? Can you hear? Can you hear it? Or only me? Can you hear it? Can you hear the water? Do you want to see what it is? Stay with me. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but again, the pillars here are, um, the columns here are supported columns, but you can hear them, uh, the water. And you can see that it's wet here. Some people actually say that it's the tears of Zadakaya when the city has been destroyed. Um, yeah, let's try to climb up and can see more, more of it. That big sign say, please don't drink that water. Then I'm not going to drink it. You can see it, isn't it? I'm always at the south. Is that part of the sewage water from the Muslim quarter? I'm not. But here it is. Kind of a spring. Don't drink that water. And that's going to be the end of the movie. If you want to see more, subscribe me. Be my friend. We have, I have, actually we have now more than 17,000 videos about Israel and the Holy Land. Be a part of them.